One of the things that I study is energy harvesting, and that is how to tap into the human body and capture some of the energy that would normally be wasted during movement and convert it to electricity to power portable devices like two-way radios or cell phones or, or GPS systems. And here's an example of one. This is one that's worn on the, on the leg, on the knee. And what happens is every time you move the, your knee joint during walking, it spins uh, a generator, which then produces electricity. And we do some things which are sort of atypical of a generator, which is we control it. And we control it so that it only engages this power generation at times when it assists your knee muscles in slowing down the body. So in that way, it can actually assist walking while still producing electricity at the same time, a win-win situation. This is really um, for people whose lives depend upon uh, having portable power. So for you and I, we may not want to wear something on our leg just to keep our cell phone charged, because we can go home at the end of the day and plug it into the, into the wall. But there's lots of people who live their lives away from the grid. That includes um, soldiers in the Canadian forces who may spend uh, 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 days or weeks away from base where they need to keep their two-way radios charged, for example, in order to communicate with each other and keep each other safe. Uh, it includes first responders who have to go into places like, um, uh, like after Hurricane Katrina or 9-11 or the tsunami in Japan and find people who, who may need rescuing. Uh, they don't know the very nature of disasters. You don't know how long they're going to last and how, uh, how big they're going to be. And so to keep their two-way radios charged or their GPS systems, it's good to have some way to tap into their own personal power.